You are listening to the Moon Griffon Show podcast on KPEL965.com. Mostly cloudy skies across Acadiana today. Those temperatures getting up to about 74 degrees for the high. Overnight lows tonight going to be dropping down into the 50s. I think that we stay pretty quiet here the next few days, although it will be fairly cloudy. We'll start to see some broken shower activity out there by Saturday. Showers that become more numerous and a little heavier by Sunday night, but clearing out as we go into early next week with beautiful weather by Mardi Gras. From the Storm Team 3 Weather Lab, I'm KTC Meteorologist Daniel Phillips on News Talk 96.5 KPL. News Talk 96.5 KPL. Right now, traffic. We have an accident on Surrey Street at Grissom Drive. Uh, that is right near the Lafayette Parish Sheriff's Office, the, the maintenance building, the Marine building, all in that area near the airport. So, be very careful as you travel near the airport. The loudest voices on the biggest issues. We're listening to your concerns. And that's why it's so important for us to say that we hear you. News Talk 96.5 KPL. Depend on it. The Fox Business Report is brought to you by Gulf Coast Bank. Your local- Woo! I gotta go. I gotta go real bad. Can somebody let me in? Can you let me in there? Is it my turn? Here we go, Mark. Ain't no place to be on Mighty God Day. Mighty God Day. <laughs> Ain't no place to be on Mighty God Day. I told you I would play it before we stopped the show today. No matter what you say. Ain't no place to be on Mighty God Day. Yeah. That's Benny Grunch. And it's so funny, the, the cover says the wild linoleum, and I can't see the other wording, but they look like the village people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, agreed, agreed. What That is why. Where, where, are they, where are they out of? I'm sure New Orleans. Okay. I, I don't, you know, you ask me those questions I don't have the answers to. No place to pee on Mardi Gras. Oh, yeah. But there is a place to be if you're in Lafayette on Mardi Gras. Right, right, right. Um, as a matter of fact, we have a map of the locations where you will find um, the portalettes. And it, the, LCG has used or is using, again, the services of Potty Girl, which uh-huh. is a Broussard-based company. Uh-huh. And they're a little... Um, mobile restroom facilities. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll call it that. Yeah, uh, because they're almost pretty outside. They're different colors, right. and you know they've done a really good job. And as I was writing the story, I found out that they have route drivers that go around overnight and make sure that everything's you know nice and fresh for the next day. Sure, not a job I would want, but no. somebody's got to do it. Somebody's and we certain, do it. we certainly appreciate the route drivers for yes. doing that job. Yeah. What 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 is it? Pot, potty girl. Potty girl. Potty girl. Okay. Like yeah. I've a, heard. Yes. Yeah, so I've yeah. heard they're nice. Mm-hmm. As in, as nice as you can make a portable toilet. Well, yeah. And here's the thing: is porta potties aren't what they used to be. Now these are the the they look very like the ones that we grew up with, but they you know inside it's not. I don't know. They just aren't as nasty as they used to yeah, be. Let's yeah. just put it that yeah. way. But man, they have really gotten bougie over the years. They've got the trailers now. Now, these aren't going to be down for Mardi Gras. But if you need one, they have the big trailers and like a a whole bathroom inside with the sink. As a matter of fact, when I worked at one of the TV stations, they were redoing all of our bathroom facilities. And we got one of those to use because, you know, we Mm needed... Sure. <laughs> we needed a place to be. That's right. And so we had one, and it was so nice. I was very impressed. You know? Yeah. One of those things that you don't necessarily like to talk about, but everybody does. If you'd like to see a map and find out exactly where those porta potties are going to be uh, along the Mardi Gras parade route here in Lafayette, we've got that map at our website. And, you know, th- the good thing is it looks like they have put little clusters of them in the areas that are more heavily trafficked or, or at least uh, where people set their stuff up. So there's, to speak. A, there's a science behind it. Absolutely. 132 of them in 30 diff- 32 different locations. You can go to our website, kpel965.com to check that out. Or as always, visit our KPL app. We sure do appreciate you spending some time with us this morning. We had a great morning. Hopefully you did too. We've got a look at news on the way. Moon Griffon is next. Have a great day. God bless. The Fox Business Report is brought to you by Gulf Coast Bank, your local community bank. 
Whether your financial needs are for an individual, a business, or for the whole family, Gulf Coast Bank has the knowledge and products to serve you best. With nine convenient locations throughout Acadiana, you're never far from a friendly Gulf Coast Bank associate. I'm Neil Cavuto, and this is the Fox Business Report. There were fewer people filing for unemployment benefits than expected last week. New claims came in at 218,000, little change from the week before. Continuing claims, those remaining on benefits, remained in the range of 1.8 million. The numbers remain in the range of a healthy job market. Wall Street is looking at some upbeat earnings reports. Walt Disney's quarter topped forecasts. It is raising its dividend and is optimistic about this year. Ralph Lauren had a strong holiday season. Shares of the luxury retailer are higher. Spirit Airlines quarter was better than predicted, though the company continues to lose money. Chip designer Arm Holdings is seeing shares up 5%. Arm's quarter was helped by demand for artificial intelligence technology. Though Hershey's profit was weaker than a year ago, it is paying more for cocoa and sugar. And that's your Fox Business Report. I'm Laura Cantor, invested in you. New year, even a presidential election year, but we are still facing the same issues. You need to prepare for the worst. Protect your home, your family, and your investments. It's time to reach out to the Oxford Gold Group. They make it simple for you, whether you are buying more gold, diversifying your 401k, or buying gold for the first time. Call the Oxford Gold Group at 833-995-GOLD and order the investment guide or make a purchase of precious metals and get up to $2,500 in free gold. 833-995- Diane from Michigan, a disabled senior citizen trying to get by. Henry from Florida, a veteran fighting to make ends meet. Elena from Arizona, a mother struggling to feed her daughter. Hi, I'm Connie Britton, and I support Feeding America because they help provide over 6 billion meals to people in need each year, like Diane, Henry, and Elena. Learn more at feedingamerica.org. Feeding America, 200 food banks strong. Attention high school sports fans, are you an armchair official? You know, the parent or fan who constantly yells at the referees and loves to let everyone know just how bad you think they are. Well, if you think you could do better, then get in the game and prove it. It's time for you to suit up and make the calls where they actually count. Every sport in Louisiana needs more officials. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. News Talk 96.5 KPEL, Brobridge, Lafayette, broadcasting from the Matthew James Tax and Wealth Management Studios. It's a case that could help decide the 2024 election. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News, and the Supreme Court will hear it this hour whether former President Trump can be on the ballot or if Colorado or maybe other states are allowed to remove him, claiming he incited the 2021 Capitol riot. What qualifies as an insurrection or taking part in one? And does the 14th Amendment's insurrection clause apply to the president? Those are all questions facing Supreme Court justices today in historic arguments here over a never-before-tested provision of the Constitution. The court agreed to fast-track this case after Colorado's Supreme Court ruled former President Trump did engage in an insurrection and is disqualified from the state's primary ballot at the Supreme Court. Jared Halpern, Fox News. A Trump victory is looming in today's Nevada caucuses. Only the former president and long-shot challenger Ryan Binkley can be considered. Nikki Haley refused to pay to take part, calling it rigged, opting to be in Tuesday's Republican primary that didn't count, that she lost to a none-of-the-above option. Five missing U.S. Marines are confirmed dead this morning. They disappeared Tuesday while flying back from Nevada during the historic storm that slammed California with heavy snow and record rain. Search teams located the Marines' heavy lift helicopter, known as a Super Stallion, yesterday in Pine Valley. Fox's Carmen Roberts, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, is on his way back to the U.S. After attempts at a new ceasefire fizzled. Israel called Hamas's proposal delusional. The Senate may vote today on a bill to provide billions of dollars in military aid to Israel and Ukraine, which keeps battling Russian President Putin's invasion. Democratic Senator Michael Bennett tells Fox. If we fail to support them, Putin's just going to continue this war. He's going to impose his will right. on the Ukrainian people. Democrats are angry. Republicans blocked a bigger bill attaching border security provisions aimed at stopping record illegal immigration, but Republicans called it a bad bill. America's listening to Fox News.
New Year, even a presidential election year, but we are still facing the same issues. You need to prepare for the worst. Protect your home, your family, and your investments. It's time to reach out to the Oxford Gold Group. They make it simple for you, whether you are buying more gold, diversifying your 401k, or buying gold for the first time. Call the Oxford Gold Group at 833-995-GOLD and order the investment guide or make a purchase of precious metals and get up to $2,500 in free gold. 833-995-GOLD. Looking for top-notch personal protection? The Smith & Wesson Equalizer is here to level the playing field. Easy to rack slide, easy to control ergonomic grip, it's designed for you. With a 10, 13, and 15 round magazine included, size up for better control or size down for easier concealment. Don't miss out on the opportunity to upgrade your safety. Visit your local dealer now. To learn more about the Equalizer, visit smith-wesson.com. Smith & Wesson, empowering Americans. All capacity sizes may not be available in your jurisdiction. South Louisiana's biggest St. Patrick's Day celebration is back. Patty in the Park, Saturday, March 16th at Park International, downtown Lafayette, presented by Bud Light. Featuring the good news, 337, DJ Digital, and the People's Champ, all along. What it do is power wow, I'm the People's Champ. It's the Iceman power wow, I might cause a cold front if I take a deep grip. Tickets available now at eventbrite.com and all Legends locations. The only official after Patty party happening at downtown. Legends Patio. My suit can still make an impression. And my lamp can bring others a bright future. Because when I donate my stuff to Goodwill, it helps fund job placement and training for people right in my community. Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. Find your nearest donation center at goodwill.org. Brought to you by Goodwill and the Ad Council. Bikers Against Child Abuse empowers children to not feel afraid of the world in which they live. For more information, visit bacaworld.org. Our helpline is 866-885-9474. BACA. Breaking the Chains of Abuse. This hour of the Moon Graphone Show is brought to you by 1% List Acadiana. Call Shannon LeBlanc today at 337-522-0682. Save on fees, not on service. The views expressed in the following show are those of the hosts or hosts only. They do not represent News Talk 96.5 KPL or Town Square Media. <laughs> Yeah, man, it is great to be with you. It is Friday Eve on the Moon Graffon Show. Thanks for being part of the program, 844-766-6607. It is a Matthew James Tax and Wealth Management Hotline. Check them out, MatthewJames.com. Make sure you check them out. Anyway, great to be with you today. Got a great lineup. Uh, 1006, we have the governor on. Governor Landry went to the border. We're going to check with him on that. I did tell him. Save a little time for Blue Cross Blue Shield, so we'll do the border stuff all for him, all for him helping the uh, great state of Texas out with our National Guard. There's only one person I heard that was against this. One. Guess who it was? Psycho Bill Cassidy. Psycho Bill said, don't do that. It's going to cost us money. Psycho Bill just voted for money to Ukraine and Israel. I don't know what, 70, 80 billion dollars and he's worried about three million dollars for sending our national guard troops to help the at the border which we know fentanyl's coming across killing our young people and the only one against it is psycho bill cassidy again a man all over the place cassidy saying that no you know it costs three million dollars so what you just spent $70 billion. You tried to give us a border bill that's going to spend another couple hundred billion. Remember the border bill you supported and, and passionately supported? So, uh, anyway, we're going to talk to the governor and then Randy Delight, who's uh, Livingston Parish uh, president, will talk about this stupidity of putting air underneath the ground, especially around Lake Marble, underneath the ground. And, uh, that Livingston Parish has been tough on this. I hope they stay tough. I hope they stay just standing firm not to allow the stupidity of putting carbon dioxide underneath the ground 
trying to save the planet. And nobody knows what that would even do. First of all, they ain't going to do anything with the, the air. Suck. I got a vacuum cleaner. I tried it at home. Just suck the air all day. Just go put it on. I'll turn it on one day. So let's see what we get. If we can get anything. We got air. The bag filled up with air. <laughs> Stupidity. Anyway, we got them on at 1030. I'm looking forward to uh, talking. To them. We're going to talk a little bit with our friends at South Star Urgent Care. You hear me brag about South Star Urgent Care for the last three months. And I want to talk to someone that uh, really knows in, in the work. It's a Louisiana company. started right here in Lafayette. Uh, they're all over the uh, country now. But they started right here in Louisiana. So we visit with them as the program unholds. And it's a lawsuit. And I'll get a little bit more on that later in the third hour of the program. Uh, we'll talk to our friends at the uh, Pelican Institute. And uh, I, I'll, I'll tell you about it a little later in the program. So just letting you know that uh, Psycho Bill, I want to spend too much money on elections, especially if they, he may lose. And then this craziness of, you know, folks, if we don't help the people. The, every, everybody coming across the border illegally by Joe Biden has affected every one of us. I got I can go get the lady on right now. I wish I could see her. I'd call in here. She can talk about the fentanyl death of a child, 22, 23 years old. Yes. Matter of fact, there's a two of them here. I know one of them really well. She would come on and talk about it in a second. Fentanyl that came across that southern border that Joe Biden and the Democrats let wide open. People dying every day because of the border being open. And it's, it's kind of sad when you talk to her because she lost – I think it was on only, her only child to fentanyl, which we all know that this open border situation, people have been raped, killed. Uh, we've had young girls raped and killed, three-year-olds. And this is the open border by the Democrats and Joe Biden because it ain't going to never happen to their family. So uh, Cassidy and them wanted to have even a, a more open border. I talked to a guy today who's a very smart guy, I call him a mentor. I'm not going to tell you who he is because he might not want me to tell you. I've been talking to him for the whole 30 years I've been on the air. And, uh, man, he, he went to town on that open border. Especially the process of we'll count to 5,000 and then we'll stop the border. And, and Cassidy was voting for that bill. John Cassidy, two days ago, was still supporting this horrendous bill. Then he finally woke up and said, I'm going to know now. That's what Bill's supporting. Bill's worried about $3 million for going to protect. That border's important to protect, folks, for Louisiana citizens. we got to be able to help our neighbors. God knows Texas has helped us. Cassidy jumps up and down and don't want to help our neighbors. What a neighborly guy he is. What's going on at the border that Cassidy wanted to continue to put on, continue to move forward? Louisiana owes it. We owe it. We owe it to our American citizens. We owe it to the citizens of Louisiana to protect the borders. And now you got a situation where the federal government's saying, "No, no, no, you can't do that." And the state of Texas said, "No, we Texas, we can do it." I'm proud of Texas. Of course, they're the fifth biggest economy in the in the world. And then you know, they, everybody brags about Texas. Everything's big and better in Texas. But Louisiana, and I wish Louisiana did a lot of things, Texas did. Economy and things of that nature. But when it comes to the border, they're doing everything they can. Joe Biden, the Democrats, and a few Republicans like Bill Cassidy and McConaughey and McConnell and uh, uh, what is his name? Milk Toast uh, Romney. Those guys right there, just they just hurt us every day. Wish they'd go back to being what they truly are, which would be liberal Democrats. 844-766-6607. By the way, and I've talked about this a lot. And folks, it may not worry you and you don't care. You got a job. You're doing well. That's good. But I, I came across a piece. And I told y'all, by 20, let's see, this is 24. 2034, the country is going to be $50 trillion in debt. $50 trillion in debt. Uh, they're saying now the deficit will grow from $1.6 trillion to $2.6 trillion a year by 2034. The debt will equal 116% of the GDP. Uh, 
this, since the Great Depression, okay, the Great Depression, deficits have exceeded that level only during and shortly after World War II and the 2007-09 financial crisis and the coronavirus pandemic. The CBO says this is so dangerous. Everything I read is how dangerous, but yet Washington, D.C. never stops spending. It's like we don't even have grown-ups in Washington, D.C. anymore. Do we not have a grown-up in Washington, D.C.? Not one. The lawmakers are trying to figure out what the lobbyists want. The lobbyists come in and pay them up team, uh, just tons of money to get what they want, and the American people lose. Matter of fact, I was told again by a friend of mine who ain't a banker but is in the banking business. Told me we ne- remember I had John Kennedy on. Senator Kennedy said we'll have an economy as long as other people are buying our debt. Well, according to my friend, he said, "Have you seen it?" Wall Street Journal is reporting it. We are now buying our own debt. When we're buying our own debt, that means we're creating a bubble in a false economy. Oh, economy's going good. Every dollar we're taking in, we're spending one and a half do- one point five dollars, one point one and a half, you know, one dollar and fifty cent to create a one dollar economy. That's a false economy. That's false hope. I don't understand this, folks. I don't understand why we have people like Senator Cassidy. Even even John Kennedy voted for more money for Ukraine. We don't have money to give to anybody. We're buying our own debt. Oh, Moon, you just panic and you just scare. I'm not scaring anybody. I'm telling you, this is on purpose. It's no way they're going to jump up and go, well, you know, we made a mistake. Uh, No, this is on purpose. You don't keep spending and printing money. Folks, the interest rates are going to skyrocket. Inflation will never stop. Because we are so far out there now, it's not even funny. Well, how come, how come we don't have any smart people in Washington, D.C. anymore? I'm just asking. Note the record high credit card debt brutalizes middle class and binds America. People using credit cards more now than they ever have. McDonald's shares tumble after exec- executives acknowledge price inflation. What was it in California? Somebody drove up and got a Big Mac meal. It cost them eighteen bucks. I wouldn't buy a Big Mac. I wouldn't buy a Big Mac for two dollars and fifty cent <laughs> or a meal. That's just me. No cut on McDonald's. Eighteen bucks. Consumers are wary. McDonald's shares tumble after executives acknowledge price inflation. Now, let me say it again for the thousandth time. Cheap energy and cheap food made our country great, and we're not going to have either with this green new crap and craziness. This is, we got all the oil and gas and natural gas and coal we ever need to, for the earth to sustain itself forever. But we making that the bad guys. So we driving the cost up, we driving the food cost up, and this is what, it's going to be tough on middle class and hardworking people and the poor. Why don't we change that? Quit printing money. Quit buying debt. Quit running up debt. Why can't? See, they're not telling us everything. Then they're going to turn around and say, vote for Joe Biden. You get more of this. Joe Biden, what a joke. I mean, it's just a joke. So anyway, we got to take a break. I just I keep bringing up the financial stuff. I'm going to continue to bring people on, bankers and people like that. I could hear Rusty Cliche last week. Just to keep making the point that you can't do this anymore. This has to end. It's got to stop. More more news on mask. Five transgender players dominate Toronto's women's collegiate volleyball competition. One had three men, one had two. They said they were outmanned. We'll be right back. The Sons of Confederate Veterans encourage all Southerners to take pride in our heritage. Every time a child hugs a teddy bear, you should think of Holt Collier, a black Confederate veteran who guided Theodore Roosevelt on the 
famous bear hunt that inspired the creation of the beloved toy. After the federal Supreme Court made the infamous Jim Crow laws the law of the land, Confederate veterans defied both law and tradition when they demanded and received the right to bury black Confederate veterans in so-called white-only cemeteries. Levi Carnine, a black Confederate hero buried in Louisiana, is one such example. The Sons of Confederate Veterans support real diversity. To learn more about your history, visit scv.org. That's scv.org. When you think about how you spend your money in retirement, what comes to mind? Probably travel, sunny beaches, and spoiling your grandchildren? But a recent survey found that over 30% of every dollar a retiree spends goes to taxes. Baby boomers were told for years to save money in their IRAs and 401ks and pay taxes later. Well, now that day has arrived, and boomers are shocked to see a third of their money going back to Uncle Sam. John Blanchett and the Matthew James Financial Group can help. What if you could? Protect all or most of your retirement wealth from future tax rate increases. Achieve a zero or near zero effective tax rate for most of your retirement years. Find out more. 337-366-8366. Isn't it time you got a second opinion on your wealth and retirement outlook? Learn how you could potentially kick the IRS out of your IRA. 337-366-8366 and online at MatthewJames.com. Everywhere you turn. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Microphone Show. Great to have you with us. Matthew James, Tax Wealth Management Hotline. If they like to be part of the program, it's your opportunity to be a voice. Well, good. I, I got a lot of stuff today. Uh, Governor Landry pushed to send uh, troops to U.S.-Mexico border. Uh, thank you, Jeff. They've always helped us. We should help them. Costs $303 million for the state to send National Guard troops to Texas. According to the Senate President Cameron Henry, Louisiana taxpayers would foot the bill. State legislature would have to approve the spending before troops could be deployed. State legislature ought to approve the spending. Folks, this is, this is national. This involves us. We waste money on uh, roads to nowhere, the Purple Circle Social Club. We waste money all over the state. $3 million is a drop in a bucket when you're dealing with 50 something million dollars, billion dollars. It's a nothing burger. They need help but we're really helping ourselves. For the life of me, cannot believe Bill Cassidy, Psycho Bill, would jump up and say, don't do this. According to everything I read, Jeff has a, Jeff can do this. We've, it's been, by the way, we have a history of doing this. You know, one of the things Cassidy says is, well, this is up to the federal government to do it. Hey, Bill, that's you. Psycho, that's you. That's you and your buddy Biden who wants to shove a bill down our throat. That was horrible. That's what Cassidy said. It's up to the federal government, not the state to do it. Then why don't you do your job? Why you ain't bickering about Biden and the bills that he proposed? It doesn't make any sense to have a United States senator like Psycho Bill Cassidy who really needs to be Illinois senator. Oh, you're really tough on Cassidy. I'm not tough enough on him. Quit doing stupid stuff. Quit saying stupid stuff. You know? This is a job of the federal government. Do your job. That's what you ought to do. Do your job. That's all I want you to do. Instead, you're going to go after Jeff Landry and the money we're spending and say, well, this is a job of the federal government. You're the federal government. What bill did Psycho Bill ever propose? What did he ever push to stop the border from the crisis that's going on? None. You beat up the guy who wanted to stop it. His name is Donald Trump. You beat him up. And, and Joe Biden, you, you go around long as a lapdog. Let's go to phone lines. 
we go to Russell Denham Springs, Louisiana. Russell, how you doing, sir? Yes, sir. Doing good. I just wanted to let y'all know, I called Blue Cross Blue Shield earlier. Not everybody's going to get to vote, only certain ones. No. I don't think that's fair. Russell, I explained this a thousand times, the policy holder. So if you work for a company that has Blue Cross Blue Shield, the policy holder is the company. They get the vote. You don't. Everybody's not getting the vote. Okay. Never, that's that, that, and I've explained it. Yeah, everybody's not getting the vote because you on Blue Cross Blue Shield, you're not getting the vote. And like me, I'm a policy holder. I write the check for the deal, and it's in my name. So I get the vote. Companies yes, get the vote. But if you just somebody who has Blue Cross Blue Shield, you're just waiting to see what they're doing to you. Right. That's correct. They kept telling me they're going to have a insurance commission is going to have a hearing soon. And um, I heard he's having it next Wednesday. I think everybody, yes, sir. I think everybody should get the vote. I mean, because <laughs> um, well, you definitely if you pay if you pay the insurance, you definitely a policy holder. But no, it's uh, no, it's not. It's not going to be members vote. It's going to be policy holder vote. It's a big difference. It's deceiving because everybody that's getting in touch with me, like yourself, they thought when they heard this, they get to vote, and they don't. Yes, sir. You're correct. And um, I'll tell you what, I hope it don't pass. Well, I I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm being a little negative. I I think it's a done deal, but I hope I'm wrong. Oh, yeah. It sounds like it. Yeah. I, I, that's Well, yes, if you look at the commercials they're running, they're running, uh, Blue right. Cross Blue Shields running commercials as they team it up with elements. They already got, I mean, I'm listening to radio, TV commercials. If you look at the commercials, it's already done. I think it's going to take Tim Temple to have the guts to say, no, not right now. Let's, let's slow down. The other yeah. thing is, Russell, they can slow down on this. This is not, this don't, they don't have to do this today. I tried calling Tim insurance commissioner's office earlier. I got the runaround. I spoke to so many different people, <laughs> all but the right one that's what? taking the complaints. But what he's going to, uh, but what he's going to do. I he, want him hanging up. Yeah, he's going to tell you he can't get into it until the hearing because he has to make the decision. So he's not going to come on. Right. A, you know, he even told, uh, I got a call on Ted Dumas, a friend of mine, who actually I'm on one of his radio stations. And he was on that other day, and, and Ted asked him, and he said he, he, can't, he can't say anything right now on any of that. So anyway, hey, right. I got to go, Russell. Thanks for the call, man. All right, when we get back. Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you. South. South Star Urgent Care. We'll talk a little bit about them. Everybody knows Urgent Cast. We'll talk to them in just a second. Hey, folks, my friend at Schumacher Homes, dedicated to making sure the custom home building is within reach for everyone. Your custom-built home. And Schumacher Homes does a great job of building custom homes. They're going to provide you with a dedicated team of specialists who give you choices and tools necessary to create your home and your dream, your dream home. The new year is a perfect time right now, perfect time to take the first steps toward realizing your dream home. Schedule your free, no obligation design and pricing meeting today by calling or visiting SchumacherHomes.com, SchumacherHomes.com, celebrating over three decades of crafting affordable custom homes. Schumacher Homes has always made it a goal to make the home building journey enjoyable, simple, and hassle-free. They're going to provide a devoted team to build your home. They're going to keep you up to date. Any tricks in the armor, they're going to come right to you and say, hey, we got a problem, we got a situation. Schumacher Homes will make it like you want it. SchumacherHomes.com and let the professionals give you a free, no obligation design and pricing meeting right now. Folks, remember the name, All Field Equipment. AllFieldEquipment.com. When I say All Field, that's A L L Field.com. All Field Equipment, founded in 2016 by my good friend, Mr. Bill Allen, with over 50 years' experience in the oil and gas industry. Hey, this is a great company to do business with, whether it's production equipment, control valves, controller, glyco pumps, chemical pumps, chokes, wilding pumps. Barton Recorders, Allfield has new rebuilt and parts. Allfield handles some of the industry's top brands such as Norseal, Fisher, and Kimray. On the supply side, Allfield has anything from Q-tips to appliances to general Allfield supplies. Allfield is one of the largest suppliers of bottled water in the Gulf. And remember, Allfield never changes transportation. 
Like the name says, All Field has it all. Covering the Alcatex area and the Gulf of Mexico. All Field Equipment, 337-837-1003. 337-837-1003. This hour of the Moongraphone Show is brought to you by 1% List Acadiana. Call Shannon LeBlanc today at 337-522-0682. Save on fees, not on service. Hello, welcome back. Moon Graffon Show. Great to have you with us. Matthew James, Tax Wealth Management Hotline, if you'd like to be part of the program. 844-766-6607. You can always email me, moon at moongraffon.com. Honored to have one of our uh, great advertisers, South Star Urgent Care. Mr. Frank Garber joins us, medical operations director, also a nurse practitioner. Frank, how you doing, bud? I'm doing great, Moon. Thank you for having me this morning. You know, I, I, I've... Uh, the good news is before we ever set up an advertiser with y'all, we use y'all. I was very impressed. This company, take us a little, give us a little background, because this is a Louisiana company that started right here in Louisiana, uh, started right here in Lafayette. It started, well, yes, we started in uh, New Iberia, at wow. Iberia Urgent Care in 2012. Um, since then, we have grown <laughs> tremendously. We have um, 40 clinics in Louisiana under South Star Urgent Care, Coastal Urgent Care, and Doctors Urgent Care. Wow. And we have grown across the country. And in Texas, we have clinics under the Texas Med Clinic brand. And in Colorado, Wyoming, Oregon, Washington, Montana, we have clinics under the Best Med brand. But everything began in New Iberia, Louisiana. Man, that's incredible. Awesome story. Uh, great for y'all. Great for the state. Uh, but, you know, talk a little bit about what y'all do, because here's the thing. What, one of the things that we enjoy, because we've had it go a couple of times this year, and I say we because I got uh, maybe one before and the end of the year and one after. But one mm-hmm. of the cool things to do is when we went to the website, you can actually find the clinic closer to you. And one of the neat things was you can check in online. Talk a little bit about it, because it's a heck of a service. I didn't realize y'all had one almost next door to me when I say that within the community that I live. Yeah, it's a, you know, access is the key, right? Yep. And in today's world in healthcare, you know, people want things to be fast. Um, you know, so if you have a focus of being fast, friendly, and fixing your problem, um, you know, you'll, you'll be successful in the, in the healthcare business. Um, it, having access to register online is something that's pretty unique too. Um, there are times of the year where we actually turn that off, like uh, the peak season, like winter season, where mm-hmm. there's high volume flu or something like that, um, because it causes some disruption. But it uh, it's it's a great avenue to be able to have access and get an appointment. Yeah. Well, no, but it, but it's it's cool to have the access to it. You know, when it when it's working oh, like yeah. you want it to work. The other thing I noticed, and look, I've been told this by a lot of people around a state that have uh, emailed me and said, hey, I heard you talking about the deal with, with South Star, and I put your name in it, we did the deal. Uh, some didn't, some just went. But they they loved the fact the way they were treated, Frank. And what I mean by that is they felt like family. They felt like, hey, these people are really concerned about me because everybody's in there for the same reason. They worried about themselves So or their family members. So, Talk a little bit about this because that's one of the things that I think y'all excel in. Y'all really make it comfortable to the patient in the fact that, you know, you're there and you're going to treat them like family. And, and that's correct. You know, you want you want your patients to feel like their family or like your friends. Um, we want it to be a comfortable environment. We want it to be welcoming. Uh, we know that we see patients when they're not at their best. They're sick or they're injured or their family members sick or injured or their days disrupted. You know, so this is our one chance to help them out from a healthcare side, but also impact their day and make their day a better day. Yeah. But it makes it makes it easy. Y'all got professionals there and, and everybody wants to be tr- uh, treated as a professional. And I think this is one of the things that y'all have done a great job with. I think y'all have really got that part of it down where people go in, they don't feel like a number. 
They feel like a patient. That's correct. That's correct. That's exactly how you want them to feel. Yeah, you uh, so all the growth. Uh, if y'all had, what kind of adjustments you had to make? I know when y'all went through COVID, it probably was a different time than it is now. But uh, you know, now that you're post COVID and and you got things going on, talk about some of the stuff because y'all don't don't help people with COVID and people that got sick. You help people with different type injuries, almost like you would in an emergency room. Talk a little bit about that. Okay. Yeah. So um, you know, now this time. Um, this is kind of our first year experiencing what it was like pre COVID, Mm -hmm. you know, for the last three years, it's been a disruption of normal healthcare and access and that sort of thing. Um, but we do, um, we treat illnesses, you know, whether it's, a you know, skin infections or ear infections or cough and cold things, but we also take care of injuries. Like if someone has an orthopedic injury, uh, sprains, strains, broken mm-hmm. bones, um, lacerations, that kind of thing. Um, so we do all those services within our clinic. We have x-ray and lab and that sort of thing, um, all to be able to deliver care that is personal to our patients. Yeah, now, one of the things I would ask you people, every time we deal with medical, you know it's so important. People like to know about insurance, that you take insurance and things of that nature. Yeah, so we take all insurances. Okay. Um, now, you know, the the agreement between the patient and their employer and their insurance company, you know, co-pays will be different all over the place. Sure. Um, but we take all insurances, and we also offer uh, self-pay options, too. Yeah, I, I just think it's important. I, I hear people talk about insurance. They want to go somewhere where they feel like insurance is going to help them pay for something. Because you never know when you get in, it, it may start with you and and, and, and be something bigger, and y'all got to deal with it. So that's the insurance part of it becomes very important. Yes, yes, it's huge. And, and you know, being enrolled with all payers in the state of Louisiana, you know, our, our clinics are, can service people in rural communities who may be on uh, a government insurance or something like that, and uh, we can take care of those patients too. You pretty much, uh, and I never, I, this is probably a question, I don't know if it's ever been asked of y'all. Do y'all basically take all comers when they come to the uh, South Star Urgent Care. Yes, absolutely. So you deal with it like a, you deal with it like a an emergency room would. I mean, if somebody's going to come, you're going to do everything you can to get them get them back out the door. Exactly, and, and our goal is our, our company mission is to keep people out of the hospital. Sure. You know, some people will come to you really sick or really injured, and they need to be in the emergency department. But a lot of times, there's a there's things that we can do in our clinic to take care of the problem and keep them out of the hospital. Yeah. And so I want people to realize that when they go to y'all, uh, you know, it, it keeps them from going to emergency room. You can do pretty much, Correct. you can do pretty much everything. You're not going to do an operation right there. I want people to know it, but you can do pretty much everything you need to get somebody back on their feet. And that, that's what's important. But I would think most of the stuff and a lot of the stuff that y'all do have to do with people, getting sick and getting ill and a cough and feeling bad and having fever. And uh, I would think that would be a big part of what y'all do. It is. It is. You know, um, you know, especially, you know, when you have a winter season like this where we had our first flu spike since 2019, you know, um, it was nice to have uh, the ability to, to meet our customers where they needed to needed yeah. help. So the best way, of course, is just go to the website to start. But, uh, I want people to know that you don't have to call to get in touch with y'all. You can show up at the door, and y'all going to open the door and welcome them in. That is correct. That is correct. You know, um, if some people do re- online registration, that's fine, but you can also just walk into the clinic. No apartment, no appointment is necessary. Yeah. So SouthStarUrgentCare.com, you can find out where there's one close to you. Uh, I'm just telling y'all, we've we've used y'all at the end of last year and the beginning of this year. So I know we. Well, my family's been twice already. <laughs> Most of it was for for sickness, throwing up, whatever. But uh, that's what y'all do. Y'all got them back up and running. Uh, helped them with prescriptions, everything they needed. Yep, happy to help. Happy to help. All right, Mr. Frank Frank Garber, of course, uh, with South Star Urgent Care. All right, Frank, thank you, sir. God bless, and we do appreciate thank- it. Thank you, Moon. Have a great day. Yes, sir. You too. All right, we've got to take another break. 844-766-6607 is the number. Big uh, 
Big ruling today. We'll see Supreme Court decide if Trump can stay on ballots. The Supreme Court rules that Trump can't, doesn't, states can remove him. This would be the, one of the worst decisions they ever came out with. We'll take a break. More to come. Moongrafon Show right after this. From the humbling beginning, Dino Hardwoods is striving to provide superior service and quality products for their customers. Hey, I know Charles Altman. He does a great job. If you're looking for lumber, Dino Hardwoods stocks a large selection of domestic and import hardwood lumber in Cypress. You ought to see that stuff. Exotic lumber, they got that as well. Trust in Dino Hardwoods when it comes to your exotic lumber needs right now. Molding, plywood, Pain and L products, they are ready for you. They got three great locations. The corporate office is right here in Bruce Hall, Louisiana. There's an office in Shreveport on 2801 Valley View Drive and one in Tyler, Texas, 12492 Highway 155 North. Hey, if you're looking for something different and something new and somebody who will service you, it's Dino Hardwoods. I'm telling you, don't forget Dino Hardwoods. DinoHardwoods.com. DinoHardwoods.com. Great locations. They can service you. They can deliver DinoHardwoods.com. Check out this great Louisiana company. Oh, man, I love me some Superior Grill. Superior Grill, the best Mexican food in the state of Louisiana, bar none, baby. They are the best, and you're going to love them, too. They got great drinks and food, and the atmosphere is second to none. They know what they're doing. They know how to serve. Hey, folks, you do know they cater. They do cater. Superior Grill, located in New Orleans. Shreveport, and Baton Rouge, Lafayette right around the corner. You're going to love Superior Grill. You're going to love the atmosphere. You're going to love the taste. They can handle anything you got. Folks, they got happy hours. They really serve the people. And you're going to love Superior Grill. I love it. You're going to love it. I cannot wait to go to Superior Grill. I've been going to Superior Grill now for 29 years. Let me tell you, I know all about Superior Grill. And I want good Mexican food. I'm going to Superior Grill. I want to see you there. We're going to have a blast. Save big and... Have you noticed bad behavior has become normalized at interscholastic athletic events? Some fans seem angry. They lack civility toward one another. Some even get aggressive and unruly. Time out. What is going on? This has to stop. Let's not forget, school sports aren't just about winning. And they're definitely not an excuse to take your frustrations out on the official or the opponent. They're about teaching lessons like perseverance, respect, and empathy. So students can learn and grow as people, not just as players. We all have a role to play in setting a good example for our students and teaching them these important values. So fans, it's time to step up your game and behave positively at interscholastic athletic events in Louisiana. This message presented by the LHSAA and the Louisiana High School Athletic Directors Association. Hi, hello. Welcome back. Moon Graffon Show. Great to have you with us back, folks, as we rock and roll. The, uh, the deal with Donald Trump, Supreme Court decided if Trump can stay on a ballot. Folks, this is so dangerous. Just like the Supreme Court, just like them saying they can go after a president, once the president is out, they can go after him for stuff he did as president. That's dangerous. That's what they do in third world countries. If you go, I don't know if y'all follow, but if you go look at third world countries, and in some of these countries, they always go after whoever the president was, put them in jail. Now, remember, you if, if, if Trump can go to jail, so can Biden and Obama. Dangerous. Folks, the Supreme Court, they, they, what they're trying to get Trump on, Trump never did. And by the way, somebody called and asked, could they do mail and bad? This, first of all, Louisiana's not going to kick Trump off the ballot. If the Supreme Court rules this, see, Colorado in Maine, I know those two, have kicked Trump off the ballot. 
And so this is taking a court saying they can't do this. If they rule they can kick Trump off the ballot, all the blue states are going to vote to kick Trump off the ballot. This is dangerous. This is Democrats. This is what party of filth and hate, nastiness, and cruelty looks like is the Democrat Party. If, if the Democrat voters don't ever wake up and say, you know, these people are crushing my dreams and hopes for my children. They are. They're not helping you. They've Go look at the inner cities and tell me how they prospered the inner cities. Love to hear you come back and discuss that with me. <clears throat> Everything they're telling people is not happening. But to go get somebody off the ballot for what? What did he do? He had nothing to do with that. Absolutely nothing. Even with that, you put him on the ballot and all these people believe he did that, they'll vote against him. Somebody asked about write-in ballots. You know, I, I, we, I don't think we have that here. If we do, I'm not aware of writing in a ballot. If we do, it ain't a big deal because nobody ever wins. This is about blue states, which are the which are some of the states that are run by people. I didn't say the states hating people there hate, but the people that run those states hate conservative. They hate the Constitution. The people that run those states hate Jesus Christ. They hate God. They hate the Bible. They hate everything about this country. But Moon, that's kind of harsh. It's not harsh. That's who they are. They can't beat Trump head up. They didn't beat him head up last time. The lies, the Russian color, all the craziness that went on. So the Supreme Court, folks, the Supreme Court has to rule. You can't just kick anybody off the ballot you don't like. And that's all they're doing. Now, some blue states may leave him on that, say, good, put him on that. Because why should they care if they kick him off in a blue state? Because the blue states ain't vote for Republican anyway. California, New York, probably Colorado is what I call blue now. But you got swing states like Michigan, they'll do it. That that's that is the thing that's your concern. This is a big case. And you think, well, Moon, you got six Republicans and three Democrats. That means nothing to me anymore. That means nothing. I watch Coney Barrett and the rest of them vote wrong. Over and over and over and over again. These Supreme Court justices vote wrong all the time. I mean, all the time. So why do you think they're going to vote right on this? I mean, it, it, it's uh, this is so dangerous for the United States of America. We're going to kick people off balance. They, haven't they beat up Trump enough? Do they not feel confidence with all the lying in the media and the press and the left and fake Republicans like Psycho Bill? Haven't they done enough to, to discourage people not to vote for Trump? Yet, the Trump border policies were working a lot better than what we have now, which you know, I still get a kick out of that. Joe, you still got that tape of Joe Biden saying that is Trump's fault. It's MAGA fault. Do you? Can you pull it up? Him blaming Donald Trump and MAGA for the border policies. He came in office over three years ago. The policies Trump was trying to implement in the wall was starting to work. So why when he came in, he had Democrats in the House and Democrats in the Senate. Why didn't he pass a strong, strong piece of legislation? on the border when he had Democrats in the House and Senate running the whole thing. But yet, in an election year, where this issue is destroying the Democrat Party, and it should. Destroying the Democrat Party, and it should. Now, all of a sudden, it's election year. This is We're not winning this issue. Polling shows us behind. Now I want to come up with a bill, and the bill was a hell bill. They were going to do a hell bill, go out in the media and push it as doing something. They got caught, folks. And this, this, this illegal immigration is crushing them. But will it crush the, in this, p- Democrats in the Senate and the House? It should crush them. That won't some areas. 
Some areas voting Democrat, they don't care what they do to, they don't care what the politicians do to the, the, the people that vote for them. Anyway, here's, uh, here's Joe Biden again, just one more time of him blaming Trump. So I'm calling on Congress to pass this bill, get it to my desk immediately. But if the bill fails, I want to be absolutely clear about something. The American people are going to know why it failed. I'll be taking this issue to the country. And the voters are going to know that it's not just a moment. Just at the moment, we're going to secure the border and fund these other programs. Trump and the MAGA Republicans said no, because they're afraid of Donald Trump. <laughs> afraid of Donald Trump. Every day between now and November, the American people are going to know that the only reason the border is not secure is Donald Trump and his MAGA Republican friends. <laughs> It's time for Republicans in the Congress to show a little courage, to show a little spine, to make it clear to the American people that you work for them, not for anyone else. I know who I work for. I work for the American people. Now, let me ask you a question. He came in president of the United States. I don't think he won, but you know they said he won. So he came in as a president. Nancy Pelosi was the Speaker of the House. Chuck Schumer was a Senate president. They had 50 votes plus the vice presidential vote to control any legislation they wanted to when he came in. He could have came in and did a border bill, but he didn't because he wanted to undo everything Trump had done. Keystone Pipeline, the border, okay? They wanted to undo every good, th the Paris Accord, this Green New crazy crap we're going through right now that Cassidy's excited about. None of that was happening. He came in and he undid anything that Trump went after. And he caused the border problem. He had Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, Speaker of the House and Senate President, He had and Joe Biden, they could have passed any border measure they wanted to to, quote, fix it, and they didn't. And he waits till election year where the issue is out of control. We got 10 to 12 million more illegals here. We got people dying. We got drugs. And all of a sudden, Joe Biden now is smart. All of a sudden, Joe Biden now gets it. And it's Trump's fault. And Trump hadn't been the president for over three years. And the Democrats had the House and the Senate all the way up to last year. And it's Trump. See what I'm saying? If you got to be a fool. A fool to vote Democrat. You have to be a fool. You have to have a problem. This is what these people are doing. They had opportunity to pass any bill they wanted to pass. And they waited till the election year to come up with a foolish bill that was supported by Democrats and the likes of Psycho Bill Cassidy. See, folks, yeah, I mean, you just got to be somebody that don't know nothing about nothing to vote for Democrats. You just have to be that kind of person. And there's a lot of them, unfortunately. Take a break. When we get back, Governor Jeff Landry will join us about the border. And we'll ask him about Blue Cross Blue Shield as well. We'll take a break. Be right back. Line One is a business telecom provider. Line One specializes in cloud-based communication with superior customer service. If you're frustrated with phone bills you can't understand, endless hold time to customer support, and phone system that is not meeting your needs, then you need to go to Line.One and schedule a free consultation to advance your business phone system. Line One, technology with a human touch. Go to Line.One and tell them Moon sent you. Again, that is Line.One. Show that's not immune to facts. The Dan Bongino Show I'm here on News Talk 96.5 KPL. News Talk 96.5 KPEL Brobridge Lafayette, a Town Square Media Station, broadcasting from the Matthew James Financial Studio. This is a Fox News alert. The Supreme Court takes up a big case affecting the 2024 election. 
I'm Dave Anthony. Considering a Trump appeal to the Colorado ruling removing the former president from the state primary ballot, Trump lawyer Jonathan Mitchell told the justices allowing Colorado and maybe other states to do that would take away the votes of potentially tens of millions of Americans. Colorado's ruling disqualified the former president under a provision of the Constitution claiming he led an insurrection inciting the 2021 Capitol riot. But Mitchell argues even if the candidate is an admitted insurrectionist, Section 3 still allows the candidate to run for office and even win election to office and then see whether Congress lifts that disability after the election. But he's been peppered with questions from all the justices and gotten some pushback from Sonia Sotomayor. There's a whole lot of examples of states relying on Section 3 to disqualify um, insurrectionists for state offices. Uh, that hearing continues. No word how soon we might get a court decision. Five U.S. Marines are confirmed dead this morning, found in the wreckage of a helicopter that crashed early yesterday in the mountains east of San Diego in stormy weather. The U.S. has taken out with an airstrike in Iraq, the commander of a militia backed by Iran. The leader of the group behind the attack last month on a U.S. base in Jordan that killed three American soldiers, something the leaders of Russia and China might have discussed today. Relations have never been better. That's what the Kremlin wants us to know after a telephone conference between Presidents Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping. We're told the two men agree that American interference in other countries is a problem. A spokesman saying Putin and Xi are on the same page when it comes to conflicts in Ukraine and the Middle East. Fox's Jonathan Savage. The Senate may take up a vote today on sending billions of dollars in military aid to Israel and the war against Hamas and to Ukraine in that fight against Russia. America's listening to Fox News. The Fed is setting a digital dollar control trap. The new Fed now system might sound modern and convenient, but the truth is it's all about surveillance and control. Don't be fooled. Secure your assets right now with something Washington cannot manipulate. Hi, Stephen K. Bannon, former advisor to Donald Trump. And in these times of uncertainty, I believe the best way to defend your savings is to use tangible assets which is why I recommend a physical gold IRA from Birch Gold Group, because gold has a 5,000-year track record as the ultimate guardian of wealth. To find out more, get your free info kit on gold IRAs from Birch Gold Group by texting the word PROTECT to 989898. Birch Gold is the only gold company I trust, so text PROTECT to the number 989898. Text PROTECT to 989898 to get your free info kit on gold IRAs. There's no obligation or purchase required. Message and data rate. Court-appointed special advocates or CASA are specially trained volunteers that help secure safe homes for abused and neglected children. Don't let these innocent victims slip through the cracks of our complicated legal system. Get involved today. Call CASA at 268-5111. This nonprofit organization moment brought to you by News Talk 96.5 KPL. South Louisiana's biggest St. Patrick's Day celebration is back. Patty in the Park, Saturday, March 16th at Park International, downtown Lafayette, presented by Bud Light, featuring The Good News, 337, DJ Digital, and The People's Champ, all along. What it do is power wow, I'm the people's champ. It's the Iceman power wow, I might cause a cold front if I take a deep grip. Tickets available now at eventbrite.com and all Legends locations. The only official after patty party happening at downtown. Legends Patio. The views expressed in the following show are those of the hosts or hosts only. They do not represent News Talk 96.5 KPL or Town Square Media. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Moon Graffon Show. Hour number two of the Moon Graffon Show. 844-766-6607. Here's the number, Matthew James Tax Wealth Management Hotline. Honored to have Governor of the great state of Louisiana, Governor Jeff Landry, joins us. Governor Landry, what's going on, man? Moon, so this makes twice, right? So now I've done the show twice. Is that more than any other governor yet? <laughs> That's uh, a thousand times more than all of them put together. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. appreciate you coming back. You said you would, and I, I appreciate you doing that. And, uh, and you got to... Uh, a couple of issues to deal with. The first one I want you to talk about is the border. Uh, I'm all for what you're doing. I'm all for helping Texas because what's going on at the border, as you know, Governor, uh, you got to fight crime here, and they've got some illegal stuff going over here too. Uh, I think what you're doing is a great thing. But talk about the border, what you saw, and what happened. 
Yeah, look, I mean, it's it's unbelievable, Moon. Um, to begin with, we, we traveled down to Eagle Pass uh, on Sunday uh, with about 13 other governors um, and, and, and visited and got a briefing from Governor Abbott and his adjutant general of the Texas National Guard. And, and, and really, the, the most amazing thing, just so that uh, maybe uh, the listening folks out there can imagine, so you go down there at Eagle Pass, which is on the border, at the Rio Grande, and there are two bridges that traverse the Rio Grande, they go over the Rio Grande, that allow people to go to and from Mexico to the United States, two of them. And each one of those bridges is an official port of entry uh, where customs uh, and Border Patrol have uh, the necessary means to make sure that people coming into the United States have the proper paperwork and people going out into Mexico have the proper paperwork, both of them, right? They're called port of entries. Underneath and in between those two bridges is a park, a golf course, a recreational park uh, that's owned by the state of Texas. And um, and what the government, what the federal government was doing, what the Biden administration was doing, was telling people, hey, listen, if you don't have papers to come into the United States, but if you swim over the Rio Grande into this park, we'll process you in complete violation. Wow of our immigration laws. And so the governor of Texas decided to take his own action because the, uh, the Biden administration uh, w- would not. And he put up some Connex boxes and some Constantina wire and, and where there were like uh, 5,000 immigrants swimming across the river a day, that none of them are doing it anymore. By the time we got there, there was nothing. Just the barricades, just the Constantina and the Connex. Well, they, they weren't doing it because the governor cracked down on it. Am I correct by saying that? Well, correct, but because it, but it's like this, Moon. If you got a hole in the boat and you plug it up, the water's going to stop coming in, right? It's yep. the same thing. If 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 somebody blows, if if, if somebody kicks your door in, uh, to the front door of your house in, uh, or the the door falls off the hinges and you don't repair the door, then people come in and out your house and will. But if you just repair the door and close the door, then nobody gets to come in and out. And it's just the same thing. I mean, you know the principle. And so that's what was going on. And so what the governor was asking was for other states to try, try to help him um, uh, to continue to plug these holes in the border of Texas. Uh, and so, you know, I left there uh, and made a couple of calls, spoke to Speaker de Villiers and President um, uh, Cameron Henry, Senate President, and and some of the, um, and I think I talked to uh, Jack McFarland. I, I don't think I, I, I got in touch with Glenn yet, but um, I, we're, we're, today we're going to do a press announcement on that. And said, so listen, it's going to take about $3 million to send the National Guard, I think, to do a rotation over three months. It's a, uh, eventually, it's 150 some odd soldiers to go down there and help Texas. And I mean, when you think about how many times Texas has helped us through all the national, natural disasters that we've had, uh, it certainly is the, is the right thing to do uh, because the federal government won't won't act. But 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 Lou, let me tell you this. Let me tell you the thing that it just set me off is that I come back from this border trip, talk to the legislative leadership, they're all on board. And lo and behold, I see this alert that says that the Senate has reached a, a, a deal for a border bill, 100 and Eighteen billion dollars. Mm-hmm. That's a B. Okay. I look at the highlights, and I see that sixty million dollars. I think it's sixty billion. Sixty billion of this is going to Ukraine. So I told Sharon the first. I said, "Hey, hey, hey! Could you go and find me a brand new atlas? Because I'm tr- I'm confused. I did not know that Ukraine." was a border state. <laughs> okay? Now, 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 that's the kind of antics yep. that are going on up in Washington, D.C. You know, and then I pick up, the, right, then I pick up uh, some, some other news articles uh, late last night. I see that I, Senator Cassidy doesn't like us spending $3 million to send the National Guard uh, to, to, to Texas. I don't know why. I, I don't. I would tell Senator. I don't like it either. But if he would do his job, yeah, okay, and present a, a true border bill, 
that, that, that seals this border off because this, they, they, they picked up 30,000 pounds of fentanyl. Wow. Okay? Coming across the border in Texas. Now, that's enough fentanyl to kill everybody in the United States. Yeah. Well, to make, you, to make you feel better, I, I mentioned the Cassidy comment. I was falling out laughing. You over here want to spend $3 million. We got a 50 some billion dollar budget. He's up there wasting money, infrastructure bills, and all that stuff. And he's worried about you spending $3 million. But, but the fentanyl stuff that you're talking about, Jeff, has affected people you and me know right here in the state of Louisiana. And it's not just fentanyl. Illegal activity, other drugs, uh, child por- pornography, uh, child sex stuff. Oh, I mean, human it's all kind of stuff. Yeah, human trafficking. Exactly, Moon. And I don't know. Maybe, maybe the good senator has been to the border. I don't know. Yeah. I know the president hadn't, mm-hmm. but if Senator Cassidy hadn't gone, I would urge him to go down there and have a meeting with Governor Abbott mm-hmm. if he really cares. Because I know them boys in, in Washington, they, they, I mean, they, get, they can't, I mean, they, they, three million dollars, they can't even, that's like a crumb over there the way they throw billions around. Yeah, that's what I mean, they, they give 60 hey. billion dollars, 60 billion dollars to Ukraine. And he was, but you didn't hear him say anything about that. You should ask him. No, no, I will if he come on, but uh, it's like you said, three million dollars to them, that's breakfast and lunch. <laughs> Breakfast and lunch. Let me tell you something. They don't, I mean, that's even that's like an afterthought. Yep. You know. Yep. I agree. It's like bad guys for them. You well, know Governor, I'm just telling you. Let me ask you a question. So, for you to get, you can order the uh, troops to go down, uh, but do you have to have the money to? Do you have to have the? I mean, is Cameron Henry and uh, the Speaker <laughs> of the House going to make this happen for you? That's, that would be my next question. Yeah, I mean, look, look, look. We get ready to have a press conference on that. Okay. Um, I do. I think that they've recognized uh, that the people of the state of Louisiana. I mean, look, I can't tell you after we made uh, the, the trip. I can't tell you the amount of texts and calls uh, and emails we got uh, from people around the state supporting us. I mean, look, I, I, I went and spoke to the Jefferson Parish Chamber the um, uh, day before yesterday, and. Um, and and Chief Conley uh, of Kenna uh, had this nice report he sent me because he's having a big problem uh, with uh, gangs in Kenna and the people he arrest he or he is arresting are, are mostly illegals. Mm-hmm. And he said, Jeff, look, he said, let me tell you something. I got no problem because I, he really, it's not that he didn't have a problem with it. He really can't do nothing about it. I mean, there's a bunch of people that have come into this country um, and that are here undocumented illegally. Um, and, and, and look, they're working. They're just trying to make a, a living out there, trying to, you know, they caught it in, in, in bad immigration policy. They caught it in, in, in the middle of Washington's dysfunctionality. Um, and they've been they're peaceful people. He said, I, I, I'm, but the problem is, is that the, the ones that have come across the border uh, to carry on um, nefarious activities are, are then going out there and recruiting some of the younger one, younger kids that have come across the border, maybe to, uh, to seek a better life or for whatever reason. And they recruit them and then not becoming criminals. It becomes a problem. You see, you see the problem with not sealing the border, yep. Moon. I mean, this is just so simple. Yeah, it's so I, simple, it, but we want to go, you know, we want to spend $60 billion. Now, think about this, $60 billion in Ukraine. When the biggest boy, and they said, well, we got to do that because the Russians are our enemy. Well, what about the cartel? Mm-hmm. Is the cartel not an enemy of the United States? I mean, how many, how many senseless young lives do we have to lose because of the fentanyl uh, that that's, that's coming from China, China, by the way, through Mexico, through an open border, and just running rampant in our communities. Is that not a threat to, to, to our country? Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's right in the homeland. Uh, I don't know. Move to tell me. What you think? No, I think you're right on the money. I, and I do think it, we have an obligation because, like you said, with the Kenner police, and you can probably go all over the state, Jeff, you know this, uh, illegals are everywhere. I think one of the best things I've seen us uh, seen done was by – Abbott and DeSantis and the rest of them, they start shipping these people to these blue states and these blue areas so they can fig- They can also feel what people in the South feel, especially in Texas. And when they started shipping them, then they started seeing, they started panicking. And uh, they're having the big problems, too. I thought that was brilliant on that part. Look, you want them. You're oh, a sanctuary wow. city. 
Here they come. Oh, we can't handle it. We can't handle it anymore. And they're begging the federal government for a lot of money, but it's all the stuff they're going to get. It ain't that you ain't got a bunch of good people just trying to get out of bad countries, but you got a bunch of bad players in there, too, and that's, that's what you're I mean, and that's to. the problem. You know, look, I, before I forget, I mean, kudos uh, to, to, to the Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, our, 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 our great speaker from, who hails from Louisiana and the shreveport Bulge area, for, for coming out immediately and recognizing a border bill as not being a border bill and said, y'all got me, come on, yeah. you know? Yeah, the border, I mean, the, it I was mean, a horrible, absolutely horrendous. Yeah, and, 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 and but, you know, but again, to go back to it, yeah. I mean, these things are affecting everyday Americans' movement. Yep. And the fact that we have to send uh, National Guard troops over there to do a job that the federal government is supposed to do. And to have a U.S. Senator criticize $3 million when they spend money over there like that, they know, they, they, it, it never ends. Yeah. It's, it's really disappointing. It really is. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I hope everybody listening out there call his office and say, listen, we, we don't believe the state should spend $3 million either. You should send the state. And, the well, Ed, I want to see the bill that he proposed to stop the border wall. And by the way, Biden had a chance to do this right when he, quote, won the election. He had the Senate and the House, Pelosi and Schumer. He never did anything to the election year. Hey, uh, Governor, let me do this. I got to take a quick break. You tell your handlers you're going to stay with me a few more minutes. I just want to ask about the Blue Cross Blue Shield deal. I just want you to, because I need somebody to settle us down on what's really going on. And I figured you might would know, because I know at first you said you were, were not for it at least before you were governor, and then you said you, you told some doctors that you were. So I just want to get your comments on it because people are asking me, and I said, hell, I'm going to have him on and ask him and let him speak. So uh, okay. if you just take a few minutes, let me take a break, come back, sure. a short segment on this, and, uh, and I appreciate it. Governor Jeff Landry, my special guest, he's right about the border. He's right about sending our people to help. We'll be right back. Line One is a business telecom provider. Line One specializes in cloud-based communication with superior customer service. If you're frustrated with phone bills you can't understand, endless hold time to customer support, and phone system that is not meeting your needs, then you need to go to Line.One and schedule a free consultation to advance your business phone system. Line One, technology with a human touch. Go to Line.One and tell them Moon sent you. Again, that is line dot one. Oh, Shucks, you've been hearing me brag about Shucks. has been going there for many, many years. Shucks does a great job. If you like seafood, you got to go to Shucks in Abbeville. I'm telling you right now, there's shrimp, there are oysters, there fish, all fresh every day right off the boat. So if you want something fresh and you want fresh seafood, you got to go to Shucks. Don't forget, if you're having a party, call Shucks. Let them cater the event for you. Or you can go pick it up. Shucks, they're waiting on you. If you want a great time and you want great food, you got to go to Shucks in Abbeville. Shucks, oh, they're good. Folks, I want to tell you about one of my new advertisers, Adapt Concepts AC Service Repairs. Oh, serving all of Acadiana, surrounding areas, and the Gulf of Mexico for over six years. Full-service AC and heating company. Repairs, installation, and preventive maintenance, which is very, very important. Insulation service, professional quality services, focus on creating value for you. Terms of certified technician, 24-7 customer service, and free consultation. I'm talking ADAPT Concepts, AC service repairs. You want the professionals? You want the best? This is them. Purchase a qualified high-efficient system for maintenance plus Get a free 12-year parts and labor warranty. Wow. Don't you want to know about that? Call them at 337-408-8202. That's 337-408-8202. Or go to the website, adapt-ac.com. That's adapt-ac.com. When you think about how you... Welcome back, Moon Graffon Show. Hey, I know the governor uh, really has to go, and I'm keeping him a little longer than, than, I, than I need to. But, Governor, I just need your take on the Blue Cross Blue Shield because I'm getting hit up to ask Jeff. And why? Do you, and I don't know if you changed your mind, but that's what it sounds like. You, you kind of changed your mind on what's going on. So give me your take on it. Well, Moon, listen, here's what I tell you. I think that Monday 
uh, I think you've got uh, the secretary um, uh, of LDH, Ralph Abraham, scheduled. He's to coming on. Show, yes, sir. Right? He is. That's correct. Okay. All right. Here's what I would do. I would rather refrain until Monday and let Ralph walk you all through it. He's okay. the doctor. Okay. Okay. And I would tell you, I would tell you, and listen, we're not flip-flopping. We're not doing, we are trying to get the best deal out there that we can get for the citizens of this state. Uh, this is a transaction that is going to uh, affect the healthcare industry and um, uh, in the landscape, um, but it's not unusual. Uh, these kind of transactions are happening all around the country. I don't like them, uh, but they're happening, and, and they're based out of some particular necessities. Um, I've also, and, and also the things that I'm doing. Let me just say this, and I'm, and then I'm, I'm going to put it over to Ralph, and and, and yeah, he's going to be on Monday. And, and I told on Monday. And then I told Ralph, and then look, and Ralph, let me tell you something, I ain't a fine fellow, okay? Cares more about the state than Ralph Abraham. And, and I told him uh, to offer to you um, that if, if, if after he goes through it, uh, if there's still some questions, then me and Ralph will both come on. Okay. Um, but, but here's the important part. I'm not taking a position for or against. That's a decision that the policyholders are going to make. That's a vote that the policyholders are going to take. The things that we're doing are trying to prepare the state and the landscape that if the policyholders decide <clears throat> to allow the, 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 the acquisition um, to go through, and if uh, uh, the Commission of Insurance decides um, that it's appropriate, um, that we, meaning the people of the state, are in the best position um, uh, to be able to positively affect health care outcomes in the state. That is, that is, that is it. And, 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 and I'll just say this, too. Lastly, I'll just say this, too. And Ralph's going to explain that. What we've been doing is trying to ensure something that you have been railing on, probably since your show started, and that is to try to create some transparency. Uh, in the system and making sure that people understand what's going on. So why don't we just leave it? Right? If those, I would just ask, as you get people who have that question, I tell them to stay tuned uh, Monday. Um, I, I do uh, have I him on at 930 Monday. On. He's going to be on 930 Monday. 930. So, that'd be, so 930 is plenty of time for everybody to have gotten over their, their hangover from Mardi Gras on Sunday, the festivities, before they got another parade. And, and, and they can all tune in. Um, and, and, and again, if, if clarity is not reached there, we, we need some more. Me and Ralph will come on together. How about that? All right. No, that'd be fine. Well, we'd do, well we, if we okay. do that, I will, I'm actually headed to Baton Rouge next week. So if y'all come, oh, y'all come to perfect. Baton Rouge on our friends at Guarantee Broadcast and I'll get a mic. Yeah, so, but anyway, okay. I'm going uh, okay. to wait to hear from him. Like I said, I've already got it set on 930. He did say he wanted to talk about this. Great. Great. Let's let him do that. Let's let him take the first crack. I mean, he is the doctor. All right, no, I, I, okay. I, I, you know, I like him a lot. He's uh, <laughs> voted for him in the last election. I think the world of him. But all right, all right, I'll let you go, Governor okay. Jeff Landry. We'll do it again. All Thanks. Take care. Right. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. Bye -bye. I didn't. I did not know I was going to get that twist. <laughs> but I did get a call from uh, Doctor Abraham yesterday. He is going to come on and talk about the Blue Cross Blue Shield. Uh, we will. I, you know, if you got questions, I'll be glad to ask him on Monday. And I would suggest you wait to Monday morning. Send me your questions for, for Dr. Abraham, and I will be glad to try to get him in. He's going to come spend at least 20, 30 minutes with us. And he said he wanted this to be a part of it's going to be what they're finding they need to do and change after eight years of Bell Edwards. And he wanted to talk about the Blue Cross Blue Shield. And he, you heard Governor Landry say they'll both come on if uh, we're not convinced that this is good. So we might have... I got. I, I am in Baton Rouge next Thursday speaking, and so I'm going to broadcast out of Guarantee Broadcast, and so uh, we may get them both to come on in. Maybe let y'all ask questions to them. So next Thursday, if it's not done by then, we'll be right back. If folks, you hear me brag about a new advertisement, South Star Urgent Care is the name you need to know. Listen. 
You, you look up, you're in the middle of the night, you're looking, God, where do we go? South Star Urgent Care. They open on weekends, they open at night, they can get you taken care of. If, you got, if you're sick, if you're feeling bad, maybe you coughing, dehydrated, fever, flu, fractures, South Star Urgent Care wants to service you, and they're going to treat you like you want to be treated. They're going to get you in, get you out. You're not going to sit in a dark waiting room for a, a bunch of times. South Star Urgent Care. Go to southstarmoon.com, southstarmoon.com. You know you can register before you go and set your appointment. Hey, it's really cool. These folks at South, South Star greet you with a genuine smile and make you feel very comfortable. Folks, you're looking for the perfect urgent care? It's South Star Urgent Care. Go to southstarmoon.com, southstarmoon.com. South Star Urgent Care. It's the urgent care you need. Go to southstarmoon.com, southstarmoon.com. Oh, man, I love me some Superior Grill. Superior Grill, the best Mexican food in the state of Louisiana, bar none, baby. They are the best, and you're going to love them, too. They got great drinks and food, and the atmosphere is second to none. They know what they're doing. They know how to serve. Hey, folks, you do know they cater. They do cater. Superior Grill, located in New Orleans. Shreveport, and Baton Rouge, Lafayette right around the corner. You're going to love Superior Grill. You're going to love the atmosphere. You're going to love the taste. They can handle anything you got. Folks, they got happy hours. They really serve the people. And you're going to love Superior Grill. I love it. You're going to love it. I cannot wait to go to Superior Grill. I've been going to Superior Grill now for 29 years. Let me tell you, I know all about Superior Grill. And I want good Mexican food. I'm going to Superior Grill. I want to see you there. We're going to have a blast. Valen- I'm Paul George of the Indiana Pacers. When I was six, my days were spent playing basketball. When I was six, my dream was to make it to the NBA. When I was six, my mom had a stroke. So I want you to learn to spot a stroke fast. F-A-S-T. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, Time to call 911. I'm Paul George. Spot a stroke fast. Visit strokeassociation.org. Brought to you by the American Stroke Association and the Ad Council. Looking for uncommon talent? Meet the grads of life. They're not the typical candidates you're used to, but they're exactly who your company needs. An ideal fit for entry-level positions, internships, and even mentorships. Go to gradsoflife.org to learn more. Brought to you by the Ad Council and gradsoflife.org. This hour brought to you by Matthew James Tax and Wealth Management. Online at matthewjames.com. Welcome back. Moon Graffon Show, Matthew James, Tax Wealth Management Hotline. Also, you can email me, moon at moongraffon.com, your opportunity to be a voice. Let's jump gears. One of my favorite subjects, and I, I love what the people in Livingston Parish is doing. I think they're right. I think they're 100% right doing what they're doing. We are honored to have Livingston Parish President Randy Delight joins us. Randy, how you doing? I'm doing fine, Moon. Well, I'm humbled to have you on. Thank you so much. And by the way, thank y'all for the fight. Y'all fight is right. Y'all right for doing what y'all doing. But I want you to explain to people what y'all fighting, what y'all trying to preserve, and and how hard this has been because of the pressure and the money that's going into this stuff to uh, that people are going to put in their pockets. Well, Moon, the people of Livers of Paris has had enough, and they have has organized itself into what's called the Lake Park Preservation Society. And this is for the protection of our lake. We have Fortune 500 companies like Air Products that want to do carbon capture sequestering into our lake. Mm-hmm. We are talking about um, probably the number one recreational area in the state of Louisiana. Be- beautiful, pristine lake. This lake has... Um, fishermen that have their livelihood in this lake. We have, it's, it's the birthright of these people have been for hundreds and hundreds of years fishing and using this lake as a recreational. Well, since Air Products, which is a Fortune 500 company from Connecticut, Connecticut hired probably about 19 lobbyists to work the state of Louisiana to try to get the lake 
our protected lake that can't have any dredging in it or any fishing during the spawning season to allow, I think it was something like 117 four inch pieces of pipe that pushed dynamite through to have many, many explosions. Since that time, it could have been a coincidence, but we have many, many wells that have been collapsed. We have places in the lake we can no longer travel and fish in wow. because of all the buoys and all the unnecessary uh, activity going on in those lakes. We feel like carbon capture only benefits air products in Lake Marlboro and China. They are building a new plant in a sister parish that will get some tax dollars, but there's no tax dollars there available to help the people and for flooding protection or any kind of infrastructure. All they bring to us is adverse impacts mm -hmm. and not a real good, clear plan because it changes every time you talk to someone. Yeah. One time it was only going to be three whales in there. Now we're talking as many as 21 whales. And it's just not fair to the people of Livingston Parish or the state of Louisiana to have to take their own tax dollars to fight these Fortune 500 companies that are using our tax dollars to increase their profits to out of country uh, sales. And mm -hmm. I think there's a better way to do this. There's places in Gulf of Mexico, the Mississippi River. They all have the same geology. Just to say that you're going to do it in Lake Marlboro because it's easier and will increase your profit is not a fair deal to the people or the citizens of the uh, state of Louisiana or Lipston Parish. Yeah, I knew that. I knew the company, Randy, had uh, hired all the best lobbyists. And every bill that came across the uh, anything to do with this carbon craziness, and that's what it is, uh, anything that came across it, they just they either killed a bill or they passed it. But mostly they killed a bunch of bills that would have stopped some of this. Gave y'all time to look into this more. Nobody knows what happens when you put all this stuff under the ground. Nobody knows what's going to happen to your lake. You just mentioned something to me that uh, uh, that I didn't know, and that's why I like to talk to people like you. Uh, you already hurt the lake. You're putting stuff in the lake, around the lake, that used to not be there, in, in the name of a lie, in the name of profit. That's it. A name of, of money, because they're getting so much money from the federal government. They wouldn't get all this money from the federal government, Randy. They wouldn't even be bothering you, your people, or the lake. But they're getting so much money from the federal government, it doesn't matter who they step on. And I, that's why I admire you guys and ladies and people in Livingston Parish. Y'all saying, nope, we don't want this. You have a right to do that. Y'all have a right to beat this back all in the name for some company to make a bunch of money that the federal government's going to give them a check on. And the, and the issue to us, Moon, is that's our birthright. We've sure. been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. This company that's coming out trying to make a profit selling their product overseas it doesn't understand not only the history of it, but there's a safety aspect that most people don't know. The Marlboro School is about two miles from that lake. We, our safety personnel are working at Texaco or some kind of chemical plant up and down the river. They're not at that school or in Marlboro or Springfield or Killian, any of those areas. So if they have uh, something that goes on, we have no warning system like a siren system. We have no specialized equipment. We have no personnel. Well, hold up, though, Randy. Hold up, Randy. Hold up. Hold up. If, it, if it's so safe, you don't need none of that because they're telling you it's safe. Well, it's so safe they had a spill just a couple months ago that didn't get reported until after we reported it. And God. finally, they it, they acknowledged that the uh, state police was notified, and eight hours later, DEQ was notified. You can't find that report unless you go and dig into it because they tried to cover that up. And that was just a spill on drilling mud, which is a hazard, yes, okay? Yes, so if they was able to cover up that for eight hours, what else are they gonna cover up when they do have a, a perfect safety record? Look, what happens is when you get a spill, it's gonna take a, a leak, the oxygen is gonna displace the oxygen, somebody's boat's gonna 
kill on them. They're going to die because they can't get out the way. Somebody, another fisherman is going to see him, going to rush to his rescue. He's going to die because there's no oxygen. There's no way to monitor those things. They started out, Moon, with three whales. I was at a hearing uh, two weeks ago where DEQ says now it may be seven whales to monitor a whale. So oh if you do seven times three, now you got 21 whales. Yeah. And it's just it's crazy. Well, stupidity. And you do have a right to fight this. And I think y'all have done a heck of a job. And I Now, is this thing going to end up, or is it already in court? Randy, are y'all fighting with the courts now? Because I'm going to tell you what bothers me about the courts is they bought into the green new craziness too. And that's what bothers me. They bought into this stuff, which ain't science. It's not right. It's just federal money being thrown out everywhere. This is all going to backfire on everybody that uses does this carbon stuff. This will backfire one day. This new green deal is just another way to steal taxpayers' dollars Bingo. to make profit for multi-million dollar companies. In our, in our opinion, the citizens' opinions that live here in Lipston Parish, if you took one-third of that money, you could improve the infrastructure. You can uh, uh, flood protect the parish. You, all those things will have a trickle-down effect also are bringing jobs to you. You would also... We can't, no one can pay their insurance now. FEMA's, there's so many disasters that FEMA's insurance rates that got so high, you can't even afford your insurance. Yet, here comes a multi million dollar company going to make an investment where they can improve their profits at the backs of the taxpayers. And that's not fair. Yeah, it's, it's, well, what ain't fair to the American people, not only y'all, but the American people, is the printing of all this money and non-stop printing of money. If there wasn't any federal money, you would have never heard of this company. They're just getting exactly. checks from the Fed. You wouldn't even, we wouldn't even be talking about this, Randy. This is all made up pie in the sky dribble about saving the planet. And y'all know it as well as I do. Let me take a break. I'm going to bring you back because I, I got a, another concern that I saw, and I want to get your comments on this. I saw a Southeastern University would be one of the ones monitoring it. But if they get mega money, from the federal government dealing with climate exactly. change, they're not going to be monitoring in your favor. Let me take a break. His name is Randy. Exactly. Randy Delat, Livingston Parish president. We'll take a break and be back with a little bit more with Randy. You're listening to the Moon Graffon Show. Folks, I want to tell you about one of my new advertisers, Adapt Concepts AC Service Repairs. Oh, serving all of Acadiana, surrounding areas, and the Gulf of Mexico for over six years. Full-service AC and heating company. Repairs, installation, and preventive maintenance, which is very, very important. Insulation service, professional quality services, focus on creating value for you. Terms of certified technician, 24-7 customer service, and free consultation. I'm talking Adapt Concepts. AC service repairs. You want the professionals? You want the best? This is them. Purchase a qualified high-efficient system for maintenance, plus get a free 12-year parts and labor warranty. Wow. Don't you want to know about that? Call them at 337-408-8202. That's 337-408-8202. Or go to the website, adapt-ac.com. That's adapt-ac.com. Dot com. If, folks, you hear me brag about a new advertisement, South Star Urgent Care. It's the name you need to know. Listen, you, you look up, you're in the middle of the night, you're looking, God, where do we go? South Star Urgent Care. They open on weekends, they open at night, they can get you taken care of. If, you got, if you're sick, if you're feeling bad, maybe you coughing, dehydrated, fever, flu, fractures, South Star Urgent Care wants to service you, and they're going to treat you like you want to be treated. They're going to get you in, get you out. You're not going to sit in a dark waiting room for a bunch of times. South Star Urgent Care. Go to southstarmoon.com, southstarmoon.com. You know you can register before you go and set your appointment. Hey, it's really cool. These folks at South, South Star greet you with a genuine smile and make you feel very comfortable. Folks, you're looking for the perfect urgent care? It's South Star Urgent Care. Go to southstarmoon.com, southstarmoon.com. South Star Urgent Care is the urgent care you need. Go to SouthStarMoon.com, SouthStarMoon.com. Hi, y'all. 
welcome back. Moon Grafon, Moon Grafon show last segment of the hour, hour number two. Uh, I want to thank uh, Randy DeLatte for coming on to Livingston Parish President because he's fighting a fight that uh, all of us ought to be fighting it, Randy, not just because y'all got a beautiful lake. We ought to be fighting this all over the state. And, man, we just we sucking up and hugging on it, and I don't understand that. But one of the things that bothered me, I saw a big Louisiana carbon capture project. Now university is monitoring it. So you got Southeastern. Southeast is a fine school. No cut on that. But they got scientists from over there. They're getting these, one of the universities of many getting mega, mega, mega federal funds. And they're going to be the ones to take down our chemical plants and our oil and gas industry. They're going to monitor it. So you got, you got a, a state agency taking federal money, going to monitor all this stuff. And I just, I, I read this and I thought, Holy cow, what in the world are we doing? Well, Mo, it's, it's kind of like the fox guarding the hen house. Correct. The, it feels like a bribe to us when a company just comes all of a sudden and say, oh, now I, I know who Southeastern is and, I, and offers a lot of money. It doesn't seem right when you see some of the past governor, staff, and, and even him taking a job. With, with these people, with, with carbon capture. Yeah, the, guard, the governor took a big oh. job with them, brother. He's going to make tons of money yeah. helping with all this crap. So, so what the people, they just got a simple question. When does their voice count? When does the people's voice count? We pay the money. We say we don't want it. We elect people to put them in office to represent us, just like I'm trying to do now. When does it work like the Constitution? When... When our forefathers brought us together, they said the government for the people, by the people. But it didn't say anything about if you got money, you you don't have to buy by all the rules. And those are the things that happens to Louisiana far too much. People coming here, taking away our protection, our livelihood, and our resources to benefit them. And it's just not right. And we got enough of it. And we're not going to stop fighting. We're going to continue to fight no matter what to the last breath. This is morally wrong, and we are going to do something about it. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, I admire y'all. I, I really do because I'm waiting for other people to fight this too. It all started with that federal dollar, uh, uh, Randy. They wouldn't be doing none of this without federal money. We wouldn't even know that it came at a company without federal it's the, money. And it's federal the Green mo- Deal. Yeah, the, the Green New Deal. And, and, and y'all the seen it deal. firsthand how much pressure they put on people. But to let Southeastern. And by the way, I read in the same article that uh, uh, this company, what is it, Air Products? They are yes, excited sir. that Southeastern is going to oversee it. I bet you are because they're getting the same federal <laughs> money that you're getting from the same federal government. That's shoving this down our throat. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, just, I just, I don't understand why common sense doesn't prevail. Listen, if carbon capture is everything it is, put it where people want it at. Put it where they want it at. Do not put it where it's, it's detrimental to our state, our parish, and our citizens. But by the way, and, if these and, companies want carbon capture and it really is something good, then tell the federal government to take a flying leak and you invest in it. But you notice nobody's investing in this, uh, Randy, except no. people that are getting mega, mega amounts of federal money. Nobody cares about it. Nobody would even do this. But the EPA and the federal government by Biden and on them shoving this down our throat, getting these people to do this. Y'all fighting a tough fight that's bigger than just y'all against air products. We are fighting for the American people. We are not just fighting for Livingston Parish. We're fighting for the American people to have a say in what happens to them. And the, the benefit of this continuing this fight on is that we're going to be able to prove this is going to be like every other green deal that came across. They're going to start selling tax credits. That's mm-hmm. how they, they speculating. And that's what all this is. They're going to build two or three of these and then they're going to sell tax credits and then they're going to get some more benefits from yep. the Green Deal. Yep. And then after a while, everybody's going to be bankrupt again and nothing's going to work. The other part about this is what happens 15 years from now, 20 years from now when they gone? No, that's what so that's... I shouldn't have the money. Randy, you just hit it. When the money runs out from the federal government, these places all go broke. They're getting the hell out. It's just the way it is. It's been. This is a joke. This is a scam. This is a lie. But because there's federal money in it, they are forcing people to do this. 
That's why I said I admire not only yourself, but I'm sure when I say this, your whole community, I got to believe most, almost everybody in your community is against this taking place. I asked them, I said, let the people vote on it. I know I got elected by a large margin of, of victory. And the reason was I separated myself from the other candidate by being against carbon capture and listening to the people. No carbon capture in Lake Marlboro is an easy no vote. Ninety percent of the people, 95 percent would vote against this all day long. There's no benefit from us. None. Nothing for us. It's nothing but adverse impacts. Where is this money going to come to fight all these adverse impacts? No one knows. We, we don't know. Do we have to move? I personally live a mile from Lake Marlboro by Google Earth. What am I going to do? Is my well going to be one of those wells that show up contaminated again? I, all those things we don't know yet. We just know it's way worse than people are saying. They're trying to hide our voices. They hold public meetings where no one can see them. They make it where you got to miss work. But still, all those things have not stopped us from fighting it. The bottom line is the only way it can happen in Lake Marlboro is if it gets political with the money being passed around. That's the way it happened. Common sense would tell you not to put it there. Common sense would tell you there's too many other places if you want to put it. But well, actually, actually, profit. in all fairness, we shouldn't be doing any of it. That, and I'm being brought. We should none of this should be being done in Louisiana or anywhere in the country. None of it. But yet they got to hire lawyers to convince people. They got to have lawyers come to companies to tell them how to talk to people like you and me to explain this how important this is. And guess what? If they got to hire lawyers to do that, it must be a sham and a half is all I can tell you. I got to admit that some people up northwest that is fighting the same battle we fighting, and they understand that it's not this gravy train everyone's trying to make it out to be. Everyone is starting to understand what blue hydrogen is. And, it's, and all this is – and look – I'm not against the chemical industry. I'm not against the oil and gas industry. Oh, well, I'm not either. I'm against taking advantage of the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. No, I've said this all along. The oil and gas and chemical plants have been the backbone of our state. I love them. I love the people involved. They're taking money. They're only doing this because of the money. I've been told this straight out. And behind the scenes, won't come on air and say it, it's about the money, Period. Period. It's not about, it's not, a, they could, the people that are taking the money don't give a rat's rear end about Lake Marlboro. They don't give a rat's rear end about the people that live around there. They don't care about nothing but making their money. That's why I'm so upset. I tell people all the time, Randy, when it comes to this deal, I don't know why I'm so diving into this so hard, but I see it as a, as, a, as communism almost. I really do. It's, it's, y'all going to do what we say, you do this, and they don't care about the, What's going to really happen to people? They don't. If they did, they wouldn't be doing it at all. Well, we, it's an invasion for us. We feel that this invasion of money-hungry, rich executives feel like this is a path of least resistance. They're looking at Livingston Parish. They saying they're a rural parish. They're not organized. They don't have enough money to fight us. But we got the spirit. We got what it took to settle this country years ago. And we're going to take that spirit, and we're going to take our last breath fighting for what's right. Yeah, and I, I right. applaud the citizens of Livingston Parish. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, y'all are right. I salute you. I salute uh, your board. I salute the, the people in Livingston Parish for fighting something that is an outright lie. It's the biggest lie I've ever seen come up on the United States of America, more than COVID and wearing masks and all that other craziness we went through. But this right here, y'all hang in there. I'm, I just called you to get in touch with you because I wanted to encourage y'all to stay strong. We need everybody Thank behind what y'all doing. Thank you for your support, Moon. And we need people like you getting the word out. It's hard. Sometimes it's hard to even to, to stand up to some of those people because of the presence or the intimidation they try to do to change your viewpoint. And But they just don't know that how strong this American spirit is down here. Yeah, you just, if you need another hand, you need to talk about it, y'all got something come up, please let me know. I do not mind standing side by side with y'all. Y'all are right. They're wrong. God bless. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Moon. I Randy, appreciate you. Randy Delight, Livingston Parish President. Take a break. 
Some of you be leaving us. The rest of y'all, moongraphon.com. Listen live. More to come. For the absolute best in local Cajun food, check out Prejean's in their two locations in Karen Crow and Broussard today. News Talk, 96.5 KPEL, Brobridge, Lafayette, a Town Square media station broadcasting from the Matthew James Financial Studio. This is a Fox News alert. Ballots hang in the balance at the U.S. Supreme Court. I'm Lisa Brady. The high court hearing Colorado's fight over removing former President Trump from the state's primary ballot based on the argument that then-President Trump's actions and related to January 6th amounted to engaging in insurrection. Chief Justice John Roberts signaling concern about potential ripple effects if Colorado's decision stands. I would expect that uh, you know a goodly number of states will say uh, whoever the Democratic candidate is is, you're off the ballot, and others, uh, the, for the Republican candidate, you're off the ballot, and it'll come down to just a handful of states that are going to decide the presidential election. That's a pretty daunting consequence. Roberts also calling insurrection a broad term. Attorney Jason Murray arguing on behalf of Colorado voters. There's a reason Section 3 has been dormant for 150 years, and it's because we haven't seen anything like January 6th since Reconstruction. Insurrection against the Constitution is something extraordinary. It seems to me you're avoiding the question, which is other states may have different views about what constitutes insurrection. Well, they're also debating whether the insurrection clause was intended to apply to the presidency, holding office versus seeking office, and whether congressional action is needed. Justices have fast-tracked these arguments with primary season already underway. Today, the former president could win all of Nevada's delegates in caucuses that don't include Nikki Haley. Five Marines confirmed dead now after Tuesday's helicopter crash during a California storm. The CH-53E Super Stallion helicopter vanished while returning to Marine Corps Air Station Miramar in San Diego after training at Creech Air Force Base northwest of Las Vegas. The aircraft was discovered Wednesday morning near the mountain community of Pine Valley, about an hour's drive from San Diego. Fox's Tanya J. Powers, the military still working to recover the remains. America is listening to Fox News. The Fed is setting a digital dollar control trap. The new Fed now system might sound modern and convenient, but the truth is it's all about surveillance and control. Don't be fooled. Secure your assets right now with something Washington cannot manipulate. Hi, Stephen K. Bannon, former advisor to Donald Trump. And in these times of uncertainty, I believe the best way to defend your savings is to use tangible assets which is why I recommend a physical gold IRA from Birch Gold Group because gold has a 5,000-year track record as the ultimate guardian of wealth. To find out more, get your free info kit on gold IRAs from Birch Gold Group by texting the word PROTECT to 989898. Birch Gold is the only gold company I trust, so text PROTECT to the number 989898. Text PROTECT to 989898 to get your free info kit on gold IRAs. There's no obligation or purchase required. Message and data rates may apply. The White House says President Biden will not seek any redactions in a report by the Justice Department special counsel investigating his handling of classified documents. This appears to clear the way for the release of those documents to Congress and the public. The White House had been reviewing for potential executive privilege concerns. The U.S. Treasury Secretary is on the Capitol Hill grill. As part of her annual report to the Senate, Secretary Janet Yellen trying to make the case that Bidenomics is working pointing to inflation slowing and wages growing. But not all senators on the Banking and Finance Committee are sold. Republican Senator John Kennedy grilled Yellen on the possibility of some prices not going down. So they're here to stay. Well, some prices will be higher than they were before the pandemic and will stay higher, but wages have risen considerably. Yellen also touting a low unemployment rate as a sign the economy is moving in the right direction. Fox's Ryan Schmelz at the Capitol. There's a silver lining to inflation for taxpayers who normally get refunds. They might get as much as 10% more. The IRS adjusted tax brackets for inflation this year to avoid bracket creep, 
Brackets shifted 7% higher, but the median worker pay hike was only 5.5%. So the chief tax officer at Jackson Hewitt says for anybody whose income did not outpace inflation, they should do better. Last year, nearly three quarters of filers got a tax refund averaging $3,176. It was down 3% last year. But this year, getting a 10% refund boost could be worth three to $400. Therese Crowley, Fox News. The Dow's down 98 points, retreating from yesterday's new record. The S&P also slipping from its record close, down about three points. But the Nasdaq is up 40. And Lisa Brady, this is Fox News.